What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about abundance, lack, and havingness. Wait, what? Havingness is a word that people don't know what oh. that is. So, okay, define havingness. So, havingness is really complex. <laughs> the ability to have for yourself. So, what happens is people don't have for themselves. Receive. They don't receive for themselves. But it's not only receiving, it's receiving, having, enjoying, engaging in, uh, allowing yourself to be happy with yourself in that having process. And, and being able to have, being able to receive the good stuff. Because some people have high havingness, but it's for the... Lack. Lack. Right. So so what what why I thought this would be a good conversation is over the last number of weeks and months, there's really kind of two sets of emails that are coming in from Mastering Alchemy students particularly, but for many people. The one email is about, gee, this is really exciting. I'm starting to get if I allow things to come to me, they come to me. And in that context, having for myself. The tools are working. The tools are working. The other side is there is a lot of noise, I'm really distracted, I'm noticing the rules are getting tighter, and I'm getting more agitated. Mm -hmm. So there's two sides of this. And the part that makes this really interesting is we've been talking about these waves of light for mm -hmm. the last year. And now these waves of light are starting to blossom, in a manner of speaking. They're starting to expand. They're beginning to provide really interesting points of opportunity. But one of the things that is useful to recognize is when everybody's in agreement with something, it's really hard to change that direction or it's really hard to interrupt it to begin to do something different. Mm -hmm. But right now, this is a tremendous time because everybody is not in agreement. Things are loosening Things up. Things are loosening up. We have the shift, you have geopolitics, you have all kinds of uncertainties in different aspects of the but world. But at the same time, I'm <coughs> noticing things are things are loosening up, but in some respects, things are tightening down mm -hmm. even more. The, the duality is tightening down. Yeah, so this, this is a place where you really want to pay attention to because where you get into a place where something's not working, if you can stop and pause and take a look, is it not working because of this sense of tightening up third dimension, this mm -hmm. aspect of the rules are getting more tight, the rigidity is getting more tight. The powers to be are threatened in many ways in terms of how smooth the river was flowing, it's not flowing anymore in that smoothness, so there's a lot of off-balanceness. And the thing that I think is important is, are you off-balance? And are these rules and structures that you're bumping into, are they for you? So if you, if you really kind of go into, oh no, this is a challenge, the odds are you're in that third dimensional construct. If you're able to start to recognize, gee, look at the opportunities with this, how can I do it differently? That point of view is much more of a 5D point of view. So how, how can someone <coughs> switch from having low havingness or only being able to have lack to having high havingness and have the good stuff? Well, it's in a way it's not so much having and not having at this point. It really is beginning to perceive and observe and then choose what you want to engage in. You, you can keep running down the same path and that path is getting more uncomfortable and choppy and mm -hmm. it's really not working the same way it has repeatedly in the past. Or you can begin to pause observe, choose, choose an action, and then sidestep much of the noise, because when you really kind of look at a lot of this noise, it's not about you. It's simply rules and structures. It's people beginning to tighten down to protect what they mm -hmm. think they still have, and many times it's not even So that. it's a slowing down, it's being in present time, it's observing from that higher mind, center of your head, and not reacting to so that you can, so as life moves by you, you have the wherewithal to calmly choose what you want to have versus reacting from an old habit. Yeah, right? exactly. So once 
that aspect of observing and choosing begins to happen. <coughs> and then uh, very much the focus in mastering alchemy is beginning to be more and more pausing and recognizing that when you have an intention and you hold your attention on it, but you don't need it, you're not leading into it, you're not, when is it going to Neutrality. happen worrying, when you're really in that neutral space and believing this is going to come to me, I, I don't need it this minute, but it's coming. This is where the larger portion of the emails are coming in, where people are starting to say, I get it, mm -hmm. and, and it's working. And that part is real exciting, yeah. watching that happen. The, the but is, but I have to go to work. Uh, I, what about my family? And so to a great extent, it's I'm living in the third dimension, wanting this spiritual life, and it's really working when I sit down and close my eyes, meditate, really get in this, boy, is it really good? Yeah. Versus this is my life and I go to work from this space, mm -hmm. not from the needs space. So. The, the point of abundance is starting to shift in terms of the ease in which things are beginning to happen for people. But it's going to get choppier. It's going to get more noisy. Mm -hmm, it it's, is. It's going to get challenging in a lot of ways. And that challenge is, the requirement is really to pause and observe and then choose an action. And when the average person, I say often, is like a freight train at 90 miles mm -hmm. an hour. And when they hear pause, observe, and choose, the response is, wait, you don't understand. I'm, I'm going to crash. And, you know, I'm just saying, just turn right. Yeah. Just turn right. It's like, no, you don't understand. But really, it's not hard to just simply get into that quiet space and then step in the direction you wish to go. Well, and that's the key piece. You can't turn right when you're going 100 miles an hour. You have to slow down and get into that quiet place before you can turn. Well, and, and a lot of people are perceiving they're going 100 miles an hour when in fact they're not at all. Uh -huh. And so it's, it's really, you don't understand, I have so much to do. Well, you, yeah, I do understand. Take a breath yeah. and what would you like to do now? Well, what's this first thing you'd like to do now? And that's kind of where this is all going. Choose so, having this. Choose. And then from that choosing space, you begin to have the opportunity to have, to allow things to come to you, and then begin to enjoy yeah. what you're creating. So kind of the message is a lot is going on. And take a breath in present time. Just observe without needing yeah. and then allow yourself to step into what you'd like to have for yourself. Very good. good.